Using pipeline parameter binding is a great way to do some pretty impressive stuff. Um, let's take a look at an example. Let's see, let's look at the help for get process. And as always, I want to try and look at the full help. So when you run get process, you can specify the name ID of the process you want, or you can leave those blank and just get all the processes, which is what usually happens when you run get process. You can also specify one or more computer names to get processes from. Let's take a look at the computer name parameter. It accepts pipeline input by property name. And that means if I can pipe in an object that has a computer name parameter, then it will get attached, or computer name property, it'll get attached to the computer name parameter, and it'll go get the processes from those. For example, uh, get ad computer, oops, filter star. Now, my Active Directory definitely has a list of all my computers. The problem is the computer's name is in a name property, and it is not in a computer name property. So we are going to need to create a new property called computer name that contains the contents of the old name property. Here's how to do it. We're just going to pipe that to select object, tell it to select all of the existing properties of the object, as well as creating a new property called computer name. And we're going to populate that with whatever was in the existing rows name property. Now you can abbreviate these things. Instead of expression, you can just put E. And instead of name, you can put N. You can also put label or L. Uh, that tends to look like a lowercase one to some people. So I, I'll try and stick with N. I'm not going to do anything else right now. Let's just hit enter and see what happens. Uh, and let's see, I don't, there, I do. I have the computer name property. There it is. So I've created this, this new property. And because it's called computer name, it should line up to the computer name property of get process. So what I'm expecting this to do is to get me the processes from both Win7 and Server R2, because those are the two computers that I got back. Now, couldn't find a service with the name. Well, the problem is it appears to be hooking that up to the name. I see what's going on. You have to remember that this pipeline binding by property name binds every single property. So if we look at the help for get process again, again, the full help, we did give it a computer name property. And so that did attach to the computer name parameter. But we also gave it a name property. Remember, the computer objects that came out of AD had a name property to begin with. And by allowing that to sit there, that attached to the name parameter of get process. So it was trying to get a process called Win7 from a computer named Win7. And it was trying to get a process named Server R2 from a computer named Server R2. I think the fix for this is probably pretty easy. Instead of keeping all of those original properties that came from Active Directory, we're going to get rid of them and just keep the one called computer name. That's going to get rid of our name property. So we're no, no longer going to be feeding the name to get process. We're just going to be feeding the computer name. And it worked just fine. So that is a really, really cool trick. Now, there's, sometimes there's a downside. Sometimes you have a parameter that you want to feed something to, and it's not wired up to accept pipeline input. So there are other techniques you can use. But this is a great technique when the commandlets are set up to be plugged together in that fashion.